Ultra Beasts. These extra-dimensional beings who don't look anything like the Pokemon we're used to were introduced in Generation 7, Sun and Moon. At the time, there were mixed feelings regarding their designs, but I think they pull off that otherworldly look quite well. And in this video, we're gonna be shiny hunting every single Ultra Beast. Yes, this includes finding two full odds shiny point bolt to complete the line, but more on that later. There's a total of 11 shiny Ultra Beasts that we need to find, and can I just say, they all have phenomenal shinies. Even the more subtle ones like Kartana and Feromosa, who are still very sleek and their color choices are fantastic. But Nihiligo, Circuitry, Guzzlord, and of course the Poipo line in my opinion, all have top tier shinies. I'm gonna be hunting all of them in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon, with the exception of one evil space clown. But speaking of otherworldly creatures, or champions to be exact, with over 800 unique champions to collect and customize, and real time PvP? Heck yeah! This game is one you're gonna love. And it's none other than Raid Shadow Legends. And for the first time ever, new players can win a free gaming console and $10,000 value of Amazon gift cards. Really? And how exactly do you win these items, you may ask? Well, it's simple. Raid is celebrating the arrival of Spring in Teleria with a special Spring Hunt minigame. All you need to do is find hidden items around the Mistwood. You can simply download Raid using my link, head to springhunt.plarium.com, enter your Raid ID, and begin searching for the items. Additionally, Raid is launching Community Weeks, a six-week-long celebration to commemorate the fantastic community. During this period, there will be many activities and rewards for both new and existing players. And what's that? A free champion? No way. Yes, players can unlock a free legendary champion, Chronicler Adeline, just by simply logging in for 7 days between April 11th and July 8th. She's an incredible support who can put enemies to sleep without hitting them. And as shiny hunters, we all know how important sleep is when it comes to catching shiny Pokemon. And on top of that, she can heal and restore max HP. That's broken. So what are you waiting for? Click my link in the description or scan my QR code to get exclusive items available only via my link. You will gain a starter pack with champion Tarot, and upon reaching level 25, you gain another one that includes Rector Draft. Both amazing epic champions. Use promo code SPRINGHUNT24 for more goodies and join my clan the Radiant Residence so we can become legends together. So are Ultra Beast Legends 2 or what? Such a confusing topic. Anywho, let the hunts begin. Our first target is Buzzwool, which I found on the 23rd of January. While working on episode 4 of Shiny Alpha Box Quest, I was in a massive Shiny Alpha drought while doing soft resets for Alpha Licky Licky. But thankfully, my mental was restored once this happened. Yo! Look at that! <laughs> shiny Buzzwool! Okay, let me switch to this. This was apparently encounter number... 8.52. That is so sick. I do have an adamant sink. Can we get the adamant nature on it? I'm just going to chuck a beast ball straight up. Because these guys have an insanely high catch rate with these beast balls. Look at this. Already a shake. One, two. Aw, oh, darn. He's going to kill me here, which is fine. And that's going to allow me to switch into my fall swiper. Uh-oh. Beast boost. I forgot about that. Uh... Let's just chill here, alright? Let's just chill. Oh, I need a better false wiper. Why am I using a top of cocoa for my false wiper? Don't understand. Bring you down a bit. Bro, I do nothing. Dude, that is so bad. Buzzwool is tanky. Well, it's a mix of Buzzwool being tanky and top of cocoa being a terrible false wiper. You know what? I don't even care anymore. I'm just gonna chuck beast balls. Beast balls are super cheap in this game. Okay, well. <laughs> Give me a chance at least. Come on. All right, we got one shake. We got two. Can we get three? We can. There it is. Just like that. Shiny Buzzwool 852. Would you like to give Buzzwool a nickname? Yes, I do. Now, I thought of different nicknames. Um, I was considering G Fuel. Uh, what else was I considering? I was considering a bunch of names, but I think I am going to go with Larry. We got Larry the Lobster. Hulk would have been a good nickname too. Now the question is, did the synchronized work? Please have adamant. It does! It worked! Let's go! We have an adamant shiny buzzball. Look at that. Amazing. 
Holy crap, we got it. Look how clean it looks. This is Larry, my shiny Buzzwool, who's running an adamant nature with max attack and speed, along with a fully offensive set with coverage moves. He came from Alola, obviously, along with this wide variety of ribbons. Larry has actually helped me catch many shiny legendaries during this time. He was my main fall swiper, but now he can retire on my switch with the rest of his buddies. Moving on. The next target is Guzzlord, who has such an incredible shiny. It's actually unreal how good it is. But in order to shiny hunt it, you need to find its wormhole, which is the rarest possible ultra beast hole. But after an hour of searching, I finally found it. Please. Please. Oh! Okay, this could be it. Give me Zerkatree or give me... What is this? Oh, don't tell me. Think this is Guzzlord. Dude, it is! Ultra Ruin! Oh man, Shiny Guzzlord is so good. It's so clean. Look at it. Holy crap, it's eating that thing. Relocation notice. So this is a planet that's entirely been consumed by Guzzlord. That's how dangerous this Pokemon is. The interesting part about these Ultra Beasts is that the first time you encounter some of them, there's a really long cutscene, as you can see. But there won't be a cutscene the second time around. So it's technically better to run away from them the first time. And then find the wormhole again to get fast encounters. But since Guzzlord is so rare, I stuck through the long cutscene. And it paid off because 106 soft resets later, two hours after getting shiny Buzzwool, this happened. Yo, I got it already! Dude, 106! <laughs> oh, wait, why is it so off? Right there, bam, 106! Shiny Guzzlord! Dude, that was so fast! <laughs> Let's go! Dude, that's so sick! Also, I was doing- Okay, I gotta remove- Carefully remove the rubber bands. I was doing the brutally long cutscene, right? This is my first time seeing it, so there's a cutscene where it turns around and it like flaunts its other hands and it basically flexes itself. I don't know why it does that. But the cutscene is super long and super painful. We actually got it. Do I have any premier balls is the question. I don't. Well, thankfully, I like the beast balls so much that I don't mind catching these guys in beast balls. The beast ball is so cool. Quick catch? Don't tell me it's a quick catch. It's a quick catch. Let's go! Shiny Guzzlord caught! 106. That was extremely fast. This is by far my fastest soft reset hunt. Give Guzzlord a nickname. So I thought of a nickname just now. I think I'm gonna go with Ilzebub, which is a reference to slime. Reincarnated as a slime. Guzzlord devours worlds, devours anything in the sight. Same thing with Rimuru and what he does with Beelzebub. He swallows anybody, anything, and steals their powers. So Beelzebub, our shiny Guzzlord. Let's see if the Adamant Sync worked, because I had an Adamant. I had a dead Kadabra in the front with the Adamant Synchronize. Is it going to be Adamant? It is! Let's go! Adamant, shiny, Guzzlord. What an incredible shiny. Look at it. It's so clean. One of Game Freak's best shinies ever. This is Beelzebub the Shiny Guzzlord. He's rocking an adamant nature with max attack and speed, along with dual stab and other coverage moves. And lastly, his ribbons. With Buzzwall and Guzzlord now checked off, I now have two out of the 11 shiny ultra beasts that I need. Well, technically three because I caught shiny Nihiligo in a previous video. Oh, I got it! Let's go! 289! <laughs> three hours of soft resetting, I got the shiny! Yo, shout out to my mom. Hello, mom. Hi. <laughs> Go check out that video, by the way. The thumbnail is incredible, and I'm sure y'all would enjoy it. So we can check off Naya Ligo and move on. The next target is Zerkatry, who has this stunning blue and white shiny. But first, I had to find this wormhole. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Give me a Kartana or Zerkatry. Okay, Zerkatry, this is good. This is good, I want the shiny. Let's go. There it is. It's so menacing. This place is beautiful too, dude. Zergatry is probably my second favorite Ultra Beast. Second or third. And about an hour or two later, after only 131 soft resets, I found this. Wait, what? I turned around, I got it! <laughs> Yo, what the heck? Yo, there it is! Bro, I wasn't even looking at my 3DS. Wow, shiny Zerkatry. Look at that. It looks so good. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Oh, that was so fast. 131? Why is the number never not even? That's how you know I'm an amateur at this. <laughs> Anyways, false swipe. It does 
so much damage. I'm 40 levels higher than it. There is electric terrain up, so that helps. And it's also a monster when it comes to special attack. Is that crit? Bro, first try. I love these Ultra Beast hunts. They're so fast when it comes to catching. Beast balls make them so easy to catch. And there's only one name for this, actually. There's only one name. We have Killua, the shiny Zerkatry. Here it is. Did the modest sync work? It did! Let's go! It's modest! We have a modest, shiny Zerkatry. Literally perfect. It's so clean. That was so fast, too. We're getting these Ultra Beasts really fast. We got Nihilego in 289. We got Guzzlord in 100. And it was like a little over 100. The only like kind of uh, long one was Buzzwall, which took over 7, 800 ish. And then uh, now Zerkatry at 131. So. This is Killua, my shiny Zergatry, who's running a modest nature with max special attack and speed, along with a fully specially offensive moveset. And lastly, his ribbons. With Zergatry crossed off the list, we only need 7 more shiny Ultra Beasts to find. But that's easier said than done, because up until this point, I've only used my Ultra Sun file. I've barely touched my new copy of Ultra Moon, which has its own version exclusives. But let's keep up the pace. The next target is Kartana, which is my favorite Ultra Beast. It has a more subtle shiny, but I still quite enjoy it. Ooh, wait. This is the Kartana jungle. Whoa. Yo, that looks clean. What? You battle these guys? Wait, I wasn't ready for this. I actually, I actually wasn't ready for this. They have their own Kartana? Bro, I, I let off of my Kadabra. Chill, fam. Chill. Sheesh. Look how clean it is. It also has a monstrous attack stat. Super high attack. Now, this one went a little over odds, but I was finally able to find it. Yes! Let's go! There it is! Look at that! Shiny Kartana. It finally happened. 1455. Um, I don't want to get swept by this thing, so I have to be careful. This guy has 180 plus base attack. It's insane. This shiny is, uh, it w I wouldn't say it's the most extravagant shiny. Definitely not the best Ultra B shiny either. Uh, what happened? Did I, what? I wasn't paying attention, but it's subtle. It's subtle. It's clean. Looks great, in my opinion. Jeez, it does so much damage. Um, I think Kartana has one of the best stat spreads of all Pokemon. <laughs> It's so, I want to say bulky, but it has really good defense and all of its stats go into its attack. It's so nice. And I was telling my Twitch chat, I think if Kartana was in Scarlet and Violet, it would be a beast, especially with Terra. Like imagine a Terra Grass Leaf Blade. It would be insane. <laughs> Can we get it first ball? Please? Brit? Crit, let's go. Shiny Kartana. It went we went slightly over odds, like a like a hundred over odds, but not too bad. <laughs> let's go, Zoro. We have Zoro the shiny Kartana. Alright, and here it is. Shiny Kartana. Did the Jolly Sync work? It did. Let's go. We have a Jolly Shiny Kartana. Fantastic. Like look at that attack. Look at that attack and speed. It's not even EV trained or max or anything. This is Zoro, my shiny Kartana. He's rocking the Jolly Nature with max attack and speed. And here's the move set. And I kind of did an oopsie and I forgot to teach it knockoff before transferring it to home. So I'll just have to wait to get it on my Kartana. And lastly, his ribbons. We now have five out of the 11 shiny Ultra Beasts. And trust me, it gets insane from here. At this point, I decided to hunt for Poipo. I was dreading this hunt because up until now, I've been hunting with shiny Charmods, which is one in 1,365. But gift Pokemon like Poipo aren't affected by the charm, meaning it's a full odds 1 in 4096 hunt. However, I was not prepared to receive Arceus's shiny blessing on February 16, 2024, because on the second reset of the stream, 6 minutes in, and 31 total resets, this happened. What's the hockey you use for adding numbers? Right now, for me, it's one of the brackets. Oh my god, already! What? 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 No freaking way! Oh my god! Holy crap! Wait, 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 are you serious? Are you freaking serious? What? Nah, 31! 31 is that easy! It's that freaking easy! What? <laughs> Six minutes! 
into the freaking stream. Are you freaking kidding me? No, that's a new record. Come on. My luck is back. We are so freaking back. Look at that. Shiny freaking poipo. Oh my god. <laughs> my voice is gone. Shiny Poipo and 31 resets. I'm naming it Honey, by the way. <laughs> Let's go, Honey. Nice neutral name. We can always change it later. Chat, I'm literally shaking right now. My hands are shaking. That just happened to me? All right, I'm guessing Timid. It's mild. We have a mild, shiny Poipo. Holy crap, it's beautiful. This is Honey, my shiny Poipo. It's rocking a timid nature with max special attack and speed. It has a nasty plot set with dual stab, along with toxic to break stall. And lastly, the ribbons. We can now check Poipo off, but I still need to hunt a second one to complete the line. So I reset my Ultra Moon file and played through it all over again to hunt a second one. And a thousand and nine soft resets later, I struck gold. Yes! Yes! 1009! Let's go! Yes! Yes! My second point pool! Yes! It's over! Oh, I was not expecting that. 1009! The first one took 31. This one is 1009. Oh! Jeez! I completed the point pool line. Wow! What do I even name this thing? I named the first one Honey. Should I name this one Mustard or something? Honey Mustard? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. This is Mustard, the shiny freaking Poipo. I can't believe it. <laughs> Save the game instantly. Save the game. All things considered, I got extremely lucky with this hunt. Because the first one was the luckiest hunt ever, and this one was way under odds. I can't believe I'm in a world right now where Blacephalon is actually... Harder than Poipo because I've been uh, I've been struggling to find Blacephalon through Dynamax Adventures for a while now. And yeah, here it is. I'm gonna guess Timid. It's serious. Alright, well, let me show you guys. Alright. This is our first one, Honey. We have Honey and now we have Mustard. It's so beautiful. <laughs> yes. So to evolve a Poipo into a Naganadel, you have to teach it dragon pulse i believe so i'm gonna go ahead and teach mustard dragon pulse one quality of life improvement they made in recent games is you don't need anything to relearn your moves because during the ds era you have to bring a hard scale every single time to the move relearner to be able to relearn a move and yeah just having a hard scale at all times and hard, hard scale can be kind of rare sometimes especially in the 3ds games so it's just a hassle but thankfully i had one in my ultra sun file so i just transferred over perfect it grew two levels and this should be the evolution yes it is okay this is gonna be my first time ever seeing a shiny naganadel in game i've always wanted the shiny too okay i can't wait i can't wait that is so clean that is one of the cleanest shinies I've ever seen. Yeah, this is one of the best shinies in the game. By far. I don't know which one I like better, actually. Do I like Poipol or Naganadel better? I think I like them both equally. Dang, here we have a regular Trumbeak and our shiny Naganadel. Look at that. Hornets, it's sick. It's so clean. I'm just happy I was able to find these shinies before Bank shuts down. Now I only need to worry about Type Null and Soul Valley for the two other full odds shiny hunts on the 3DS. I am not looking forward to those hunts, but I had a bit of motivation with this one because at least the shinies are good. Shiny Type Null and Shiny Silver Valley, they're not the greatest, but you know, Poipo and Naganadel, beautiful. All right, well, I'm gonna train these guys up. I will see you guys once I do. This is Mustard, my shiny Naganadel. It's rocking a timid nature with max special attack and speed, along with a nasty plot moveset. And lastly, it's ribbons. With the Poipo line now complete, I've officially finished the hardest hunt of the video. Or so I thought. My next target is Stack Attacka, which I found on my YouTube channel's one year anniversary stream. I open a Crown Zenith ET. Oh yes! There we go, chat! Oh my god, yes! 1127! Shiny freaking stack attacker! That's how it's done! That's how it's freaking done! Oh my god! Oh crap, I still have to do the raid on the side too. Remove the rubber bands. Okay, I'm shaking right now. Yes! We got a shiny stack attacker on stream! Dude, shout out to all of you guys here. It's been a fun stream, and we got the shiny. Wow. <laughs> Don't fail it? Okay, I won't, I won't. False swipe! Oh, bro! <laughs> What is that? What is that damage? I'm scared. Is, is the Leaf Blade gonna kill it? Maybe not Leaf Blade, because that can crit. I'm hitting Spark Strike. I don't care. 
Smart strike, don't kill. Okay, okay, we're good. Don't crit. Oh, scary, scary. Don't crit, don't crit, don't crit. Oh, okay. One beast ball. One beast ball, come on. One. Two. Three. Let's freaking go! Shorty stack attack is secured! <laughs> Woo! Oh my god, chat, we did it. 1127. Thank you guys for all the congrats as well. I see you guys. Thank you. Jenga. My shiny stack attacker. Oh my god. Such a Raikou moment. Yeah, screw you guys saying Raikou earlier. Screw all the Raikou spammers. That's what I thought. <laughs> I'm just messing. I love you guys. Um, I was not using a sync for this, so it could be any nature. What do you guys think? I'm gonna guess relaxed. It's jolly. <laughs> we have a jolly shiny stack attacker. This thing is like the slowest Pokemon in existence and it's jolly. That's hilarious, actually. <laughs> Here we have a regular Granbull and our shiny stack attacker looking incredible. And with that, we can update this counter. We are now at eight Ultra Beasts. We're almost done. This is Jenga, my shiny stack attacker. It's rocking a sassy nature with max HP and special defense, along with a stealth rock support moveset. And lastly, it's ribbons. With stack attacker checked off the list, I just need to find three more shinies. And thankfully, I was able to find the Feromosa wormhole, the Ultra Desert, later in the stream. Unlike most Ultra Beasts, Feromosa doesn't have a long encounter cutscene, so I got to hunting right away. But I was a dummy, and before I encountered the shiny, I was using the wrong OBS screen, and I didn't notice. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed the reaction. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha Let's go! Dude, let's go! Shiny Feromosa, holy crap. Dude, okay, that was... For a split second there... Wait, was I recording on my different... Oh my god. I have different scenes on OBS, and I think I was recording on the, on the wrong one. No shot. Did I switch it by accident? Well, either way, 639. Shiny Feromosa. Looks great. Okay, I noticed that right away. I was scared I was gonna miss it, but the black leggings really stand out. Let me check if it has any self-KO moves. So it has Quiver Dance, Quick Guard, Low Kick, Rapid Spin, uh, Double Kick, Swift, Stomp. No, I don't think so. It's only potential self-damaging move is High Jump Kick at level 67. So we should be safe to fall swipe it down. Also, my, uh, my Carton over here is not full HP. Oh my, we don't need to lower it down. Let's just throw a beast ball and see what happens. Come on, we don't need to lower the HP. Just stay in. First ball. One. Two. Three. <laughs> so close. That was so close. No. Things were getting a bit scary, but with the help of Mustard to tank the bug moves, I was able to catch it in the following ball. And as for the name, I can't think of anything right now, but I think I'm going to settle with Lust. We have Lust, the shiny Feromosa. Let's freaking go. Save the game. Secure it down. All right, we're back in the Pokemon Center, and I believe I used a Jolly Sink. Let me just check real quick. Uh, my Kadabra is fainted in front. It is actually... Yeah, it's Jolly Nature. So, did the Jolly Sink work? Let's find out. Here we go. Check the PC. And... It's Impish, no! The sync didn't work, my Jolly Sync, no! How could you fail me? Well, we have an Impish, Shiny, Feromosa. Fantastic! Uh, pretty bad nature, but nothing a quick mint can't fix later on in Sword and Shield. Alright, we have a regular Gramble and our Shiny Feromosa. Beautiful, beautiful. The black leggings, it's quite a subtle shiny, but I quite like it. And I think the eyes really stand out a lot more with the shiny too. Go to Pheromos's face. Granbull, I don't care about you. Bro, why are you focusing on the Granbull right now? Tell me Pheromosa. Yeah, look at the eyes. They're like blue and purple, it's really nice. And this Mon has base 137 offenses too, like, it's a beast. There is a reason why Pheromosa is constantly banned in Smog on OU. This is Lust, my shiny Feromosa. She's rocking a jolly nature with max attack and speed, along with a choice band or scarf moveset. And finally, her ribbons. All right, Feromosa checked off the list. We're in the final home stretch. Let's keep going. The second to last hunt is for Celesteela, who's equally as rare as Cartana in terms of its wormhole. After grinding nearly 900 soft resets in one stream, I was finally able to find the shiny bamboo rocket while trying to show a chatter how its shiny looked like. What a shiny Celesteela look like? 
It looks like this. Straight up just white. White instead of green. Oh! <laughs> as soon as I switched the scene! Wow! Are you serious? No! Nah, no way! That's not scripted! What? I switched the scene! To solo out the freaking Celestino. There's no way to show the shiny. Wow. There's no way, chat. <laughs> 875. You know what this means. It's only the stupid clown left. It knows wide guard, air slash, ingrain, absorb, hard, and tackle. Smackdown, mega drain, leech seed. That's going to be annoying. Bro, we're not doing anything to each other. We're doing like hair's worth of damage. And that was a crit. <laughs> you know what? Who needs damage? I'm throwing a ball. One. Two. Aw, oh, damn. If I want to be fancy, I would have used probably a nest ball, but I think beast ball is fine. I like the look of beast balls. Until PP runs out. Yo, don't scare me, okay? It's not going to run out of PP. Come on, come on. One. Two. Three. There it is, chat. There it is! Shiny Celesteela secured. We are now at double digits when it comes to Shiny Ultra Beast. Please! No! Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, well, I guess we can't have back-to-back. -back. But we have this beauty. Here we go, chat. Voyager, the Shiny Celesteela. I knew that was the name as soon as I saw it in chat. I'm guessing it's gonna be sassy. The sync worked. What? Dude, my sync luck has been terrible. Like, Abro, what are you doing? You're letting me down. <laughs> we have a regular NK and our shiny Celesteela in the all white. Like, dang, you got the drip. That's so clean. This is Voyager, my shiny Celesteela, is running a sassy nature with max HP and special defense, along with a heavy utility moveset, and finally the ribbons. With Celesteela checked off the list, we are down to one final Ultra Beast, Blacephalon, my arch nemesis. Now, the reason why I'm doing Dynamax Adventures for Blacephalon is because when I was a wee little kid, I caught both of the Blacephalon in my Ultra Sun file, and I refused to replay through Ultra Sun and Moon a third time around for this one video. So the solution was to do Dynamax Adventures, but my good luck on a 3DS came back to bite me, cause man, I got completely screwed over by this clown so enjoy all the phases for this hunt is blue oh we, we might raid blue actually if blue is still alive when i get off uh, let's raid blue oh and speaking of blue i urge you to check out blue vector's own shiny ultra beast video he did all the hunts using only dynamax adventures and i have massive respect for him so go check him out all right mr mime nope oh wait shiny basculin okay i was not expecting that <laughs> shiny basculin okay we got shiny swampert no no blacephalon hey I'll take a shiny basculin. Yes, I will. It's the blue one, too. I'll take it. I'm gonna guess adamant. Here we go. Shiny basculin is... Lax. Damn. Wait, shout out to Blue Back to me. We were just talking about him. He always gets us lax, I'm pretty sure. Rotom, not shiny. What? <laughs> the same slot. Number two. Bro, back-to-back -back shinies, both in the number two slot. Okay, nothing else shiny, but we got shiny Pelipper. Lags, bold, lonely, calm, Dasa. I'm guessing bold. It's timid. We got a timid nature shiny Pelipper. Look at this guy. Or gal, actually. Look at this gal. Wait, how are its IVs looking like? We haven't checked Basculin's IVs either. Basculin had max HP, attack, special attack, speed. So we got a bottle cap, both defenses. What about Pelipper? It's not bad either. Salt is definitely- Oh wait! Shiny Dunsparce! Oh! Damn, no Blacephalon, but Shiny Dunsparce at 22. Not bad. And that just confirms that Salt is in fact seasoning. Alright, I'm guessing Jolly. It's Jolly. Oh, it is Jolly! Look at that! W Nature Guess. Oh, wait, that's a shiny gold duck. Dang, that's a shiny gold duck. Wow. Okay, I was not expecting this. This was at, wait, what am I at right now? Dynamax adventure number 45. The only thing that sucks about this is that I lose the path. 
Oh, wow. That is a new dex entry. That's surprising. Let's go check it out. I'm gonna guess Jolly. It's Hasty. We got a Hasty Shiny Golduck. We phased a lot this hunt, so hopefully we get this Blacephalon soon. All right, here we go. Swamper, nope. Pseudowoodo, nope. Oh, we phased. No. No. Okay, well, there goes my lure ball. We actually phased Shiny Pilo Swine. I mean, what if it isn't shiny? Dang it. I'm gonna guess Adamant. It's Lax. We have a Lax Shiny Pilo Swine. Let's go. Holy crap, B Luxy. With the raid of 54. Thank you so much, B Luxy, for the raid. Shout out to B Luxy. Thank you for the shout out. Wow. Can we get a shiny from this Dynamax? Let's find out. Dragonair, nope. Seeking, nope. Relicath. Whoa, what? Shiny Relicath during the raid. There's actually no way. Back to back shiny? Ah, oh, just imagine. Imagine. Wow, the raid look went crazy. I'm gonna guess Adamant. It's Adamant, surely. It's brave. Ooh. Brave shiny relicanth. Beautiful. It's like a pretty niche counter. Oh! Shiny Mr. Mime. What? 119. Celio, nope. Freaking no. Wait, what if we get double shiny clowns? Damn, imagine. It is. Hasty. We have a hasty shiny Mr. Mime in a nest ball. Wow, it actually matches quite well. All right, chat, here we go. Check number 129. Oh, shiny Emolga. Okay, I noticed that right away. We got a shiny Emolga. Can we get two shinies? Ufalant? Nope. Malamar? Nope. And Placephalon? Well, I guess we can't take this route because we got a shiny Emolga. Well, I don't have a shiny Emolga yet. So, yep, Emolga added to the Pokedex. Nice. <laughs> hey, that's one more Pikachu clone to add to the bingo card. It's timid. Watch this, chat. Oh, it's gentle. That's so sweet. We got a gentle, shiny Emolga. In the meantime, here we go. Deck number 149. Back to back shinies. Watch this. Oh, back to back shinies, bro. I called it. What did I say? What did I say, chat? Come on. Come on now. Come on. Back to back shinies. <laughs> no way. I don't have the shiny yet. Shiny Lipard. Bruh. Check number 165. Sandslash? Nope. Figuresby? Nope. Is that shiny? Oh my god. Are you serious? And of course, Blacephalon isn't shiny. Like, of course. What is going on, chat? I'm getting shinies, just not Blacephalon. What? Shiny Palpatone. I'll take it, I guess. I'm gonna guess... Old. It's Rash. We have a Rash shiny Palpatone. This guy's so goofy looking too. And finally, on April 2nd, 2024, one day after April Fools, a whopping 10 phases and 250 soft resets. The journey finally came to an end. Yes! Exactly at 250! It finally happened! Oh my god, shiny Blacephalon! No way! Oh, remove the 3DS top. Remove the 3DS counter. It finally happened, chat. Oh, my God. I'm not even streaming right now. Oh, 250. Exactly at 250. It's over. It's freaking over. I'm taking this right now. I'm taking it right now. It's freaking over. 250. Bro, the one day I took a break off. Wow, I streamed six out of the seven days last week. Today, I took a break off. It finally happened. Shiny Blacephalon! I have all the Ultra Beasts, baby! Let's go! That's so hype! Oh my god, 250! Are you serious? It took that long? Oh my god, dude. It finally happened. Dang, if I got it yesterday, it would have been April 1st. I'm gonna guess Modest. It's Adamant, bro. The worst nature for it. <laughs> that is so awesome! I'm saving the game. As you can see, 4-2... 2024 is when I got this guy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All the Ultra Beasts are complete. Let's go see the IVs. Oh, pretty good. That's not bad. Especially because it's a special attacker, so you want a pretty low attack stat. So I just have to uh, mint it up to probably either Timid or Modest. 
and it'll be complete. EV train as well. But as you can see, these are all the phases. I phased one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times before finally getting Blacephalon. All right, we have a regular Obama Snow and my shiny Blacephalon. Yes! The longest Dynamax Adventure Hunt I've done is finally over. God, it feels so good. Let's go. This is Buggy, my shiny Blacephalon. Buggy's running a timid nature with max special attack and speed, along with the trick moveset, and lastly, his ribbons. And with that, I've caught every shiny Ultra Beast. Now, I know Sogaleo, Lunala, and Necrozma are technically considered Ultra Beasts in the lore, but I consider them box legendaries, and I have special plans to hunt them in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you download Raid Shadow Legends using my link or by scanning the QR code. And thank you again, Raid, for sponsoring this video. And thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. A special thank you to the members. If you want to be featured at the end of all my videos and have your very own Fuecoco badge, become a member today.